डायजेस्टिव सिस्टम एलिमेंट्री कैनाल कंसिस्ट माउथ बकल कैविटी योसोफेगस स्टमक इंटेस्टाइन एंड रेक्टम माउथ इज अ लार्ज स्लीट लाइक एपर्चर लाइंग मिड वेंट्रोली बिलो द इंटीरियर एंड ऑफ हेड इट इज बाउंडेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ फ्लैशी लेबरम लेटरली बाय द प्लेट लाइक इन सीजर प्रोसेस ऑफ मेंडिबल्स एंड बिहाइंड बाय द बायोलॉब्ड लेबियम माउथ लीड्स इन टू बकल कैविटी इट इज एंटीरियर पोस्टीरियरली कंप्रेस्ड एंड हैज अ थिक क्यूटिकुलर लाइनिंग which is irregularly folded the molar processes of mandibles lie opposite each other in the buccal cavity to crush the food between them esophagus the short tubular esophagus runs vertically upward from the buccal cavity to the floor of cardiac stomach Internally the thick muscular wall of esophagus is thrown into four prominent longitudinal folds one anterior one posterior and two lateral stomach stomach occupies most of the cephalothoracic cavity it remains buried laterally ventrally and posteriorly in the hepatopancreas stomach of frown is thin walled and double chambered consisting of two parts a large anterior bag like cardiac stomach and a much smaller posterior pyloric stomach cardiac stomach the inner cuticular lining or intima of cardiac stomach present numerous in conspicuous longitudinal fold covered by minute bristle pyloric stomach is a small and narrow chamber lying below the posterior end of cardiac stomach its lateral walls are thick muscular and prominently folded inwards so that its cavity is imperfectly divided into a big ventral chamber and a small dorsal chamber midgut intestine is also known as midgut it is long narrow and straight tube running backward along the median line between the extensor and flexor muscle up to the sixth abdominal segment its lumen is wide at the anterior end but reduced posteriorly due to the presence of longitudinal fold hind gut it is the shortest portion of the alimentary canal leading from mid gut to anus its anterior swollen muscular part called the intestinal bulb or rectum bears many internal longitudinal folds the terminal narrow tubular part open to the exterior through anus which is a sphincterd midventral longitudinal slit like opening situated on the raised papilla at the base of telson hepatopancreas is a large bilobed dense and orange glandular mass which lies below gonads and nearly fills up the cephalothoracic cavity it surrounds stomach on its lateral ventral and posterior sides hepatopancreas combines in itself the functions of pancreas small intestine and liver of higher animals hepatopancreas functioning as pancreas it secrete digestive enzymes which can digest carbohydrate protein and fats as mid gut it absorbs the digested food material and as a liver it serves as an important storage organ for glycogen fat and calcium 
some intracellular digestion also seems to be taken place in hepatopancreas food and feeding prone feeds mainly on algae moss and other aquatic weeds they also fed on small aquatic animals such as snails insect tadpole fish and debris of the bottom it feeds at night being more active at dawn and dusk than at any other time chelate legs aided by the third maxillipede capture and convey food to the mouth cocci of second maxillipede hold the food while incisor processes of mandibles cut it into smaller pieces which are swallowed with the help of maxillipede maxilluli and maxillae inside the buccal cavity molar processes of mandible masticate the food which is then conveyed to the cardiac stomach through esophagus passage of food through esophagus is facilitated by the peristaltic activity of esophagus and the sucking action of cardiac stomach digestion and absorption the enzymatic digestive secretion of hepatopancreas flows through the two hepatopancreatic ducts into the ventral chamber of pyloric stomach from where it reaches the cardiac stomach and mixes with food cardiac stomach expand and contracts to effect the churning of food and to facilitate its digestion by the action of digestive enzymes as food passes over the hasted plate the moving bristle of combed plate cut it into smaller particles the semi liquid and semi digested food is filtered through the bristle of combed plates into lateral grooves below whereas it is carried into ventral chamber of pyloric stomach through the cardiopyloric aperture here the digested and liquefied food is filtered again through the pyloric filtering aperture thus only the finest food particles enter through hepatopancreatic duct into the large digestive gland where they are hydrolyzed and absorbed the residual food consisting of undigested and coarser particles ascend up the dorsal pyloric chamber and form there enter the midgut of digestion and absorption undigested residual matter passes on to the hindgut here water is absorbed from it and the dry feces thus formed is ejected through the sphincter anus